So I have recently gotten, I think two or three requests to do my updated Reborn Baby bottle collection. So um, my collection has changed a lot since the last time that I did a video of it. I believe the last one I did of my bottle collection was early August of last year. So um, it's been a while and since that time I have accumulated some more bottles and I also have gotten rid of some that I decided I didn't like or didn't really work for me in my roleplay videos. I even got a package just today of some new baby bottles so um, that kind of reminded me that I should do this video. So first of all I'm going to start off with my Playtex Nurser bottles and my Playtex Vent Air bottles. So here is one of the newest bottles I just got. It's a Playtex Nurser. It has duckies and a dragonfly. It's really cute. And that is one of the smaller ones. And then I have a just plain one. This is just a regular Playtex Nurser. Um, this one I really like. It's purple, and I've never ever seen it anywhere else, and I bought this from my friend Maddie a really, really long time ago, um, before she left to the Reborn community, and unfortunately this one is sealed. This one, like, somebody glued the lid on, and I'm not happy about that because that means, like, I can't, um, change the formula inside or anything it's not formula it's um fabric softener which i'm going to show you guys too what i use actually i have no idea where it went i just have it right here then i just have another plain playtex nurser bottle and this one is a little bit different the cap is and the this part of it is but the thing about this one is the cap does not stay on like watch this you guys like, see, it just comes right off. It doesn't even click down, really. That really, really aggravates me. <laughs> and then I have two Playtex Vent Airs. This is the smaller one. And this one has not been sealed yet, so I need to do that soon. But I hate sealing bottles. Like, if I can find already sealed bottles for sale, I will buy them. Because I hate sealing bottles. Um, quick story. The last time I tried to seal... Uh, a couple of my baby bottles I bought a thing of silicone from Target and I usually buy it from Walmart but I was going to Target so I just bought it from Target it was just a lot harder to use than the Walmart one and what happened was I was trying to seal the bottles and the silicone it just wasn't cooperating and it exploded out of the back of the packaging and so there was silicone everywhere like on my art table and I don't remember what else it got on but it got on a bunch of stuff and it got all over my hands and if you guys know like silicone does not come off of things after it gets on them it takes forever to get them off and there was silicone all over my hands for like a week <laughs> but anyway continuing on um I just got this Playtex Vent Air and this is a taller skinnier bottle than the other one I just got this one in the mail today, actually. Um, it just has water in it because I was testing to make sure that these were sealed very well. Um, because there was one that was not sealed properly. And then, I have two Avent bottles. This one, which is like the, uh, the, I don't know what you would call it, like the, the newest one or one of the newer ones. And... Unfortunately, I just got this one today too, but the person I bought it from, she didn't tell me that it had a Playtex uh, nipple on it, but I checked it and it's it still works. It's okay, but I just didn't know, but anyway, so there's that one, and then this one, and this one is an older version. This is Avent Naturally, and I don't like the material these are made out of. I had two of these, but I sold the other one because I only wanted one. And I prefer the smaller bottles instead of the bigger ones. Especially for roleplay videos. And then I have a Munchkin Latch. And this I really like. I saw it in... Whose video did I see it in first a really long time ago? I saw it in 
My Little Tulips video with her baby, I think Lucas, before. And um, so I decided that I was going to get one because I really liked how it looks pressed against their face. Because if you guys see that, it presses against their face really well. And you guys have seen me use this in several videos. Sorry this video might be a little bit shaky. I'm trying to film it with my other hand instead of using my tripod. <laughs> Silly of me, probably. And then I have two Tommy Tippy bottles. Sorry, this is not focusing right now. There we go. Oh, and that cap right back there, you guys have probably been like, what is that? This goes on one of the hospital bottles um, in case you don't want to leave like the top on it. It's like a stopper, but anyway. So here is one Tommy Tippy bottle, and I've had this forever. This one I've had ever since I had my first reborn Leah, and I love this bottle a lot. Um, ever since I sealed it, it has never leaked, not once, and yeah, so there's that one. And then I have this one, and this one has designs on it. The other one was plain. It's not coming up very well on camera, but there we go. Now you guys can see it. But it's basically, it's the same size and everything. I'm pretty sure this one's sealed, but I have never tested this one. And then I have this one, which I got today. This is a Born Free bottle, and it's a glass bottle. This is my very first glass bottle I've ever had. And I really like it, but it's very heavy because it's glass. And that one's pretty tall. This one, it's pretty big around, I guess you would say. And then I have my two hospital bottles. I have this one, which I just got today. And then this one. Um, I have two of these bottles, actually. But what happened was, this one I just got today. And the um, top on it was leaking. And I, because I always test my bottles before I put uh, fabric softener in them. Um, and the cap, it started leaking like around this, the edges here. So then I had to take, I had two of these, so I took one of these off and put it on this one. So that works anyway. Um, I don't know what's in this bottle because uh, I did not fill this one, but I know it's some kind of fabric softener. I don't know what kind though, but um, anyway, the last person who had it filled it. And then, yeah, so that's all of my bottles. And I have this, which this is just a Dr. Brown's thing. Actually, I have... Um, a Dr. Brown's bottle like this too. It's a, just a bottle, but it's not sealed. And actually, it just occurred to me. I don't know where that is at the moment. Um, because I had it just sitting in the nursery somewhere. Just as like a decoration kind of thing. Like, I had it with all the diaper and changing essentials and stuff. for Just for looks. Um, but I don't know where it is at the moment. But anyway, this is very helpful with role play. When I'm doing like clips of the baby eating, then I will like slowly pour uh, some of the fabric softener into this little bit of a time uh, <laughs> can't talk a little bit at a time now i do not know where in the world i put my fake formula so let's go get it okay so i have no idea why i put this away but this is what i use for my fake formula and a lot of different um fabric softeners work but i'm using the downy uh, infusions one and I've only ever bought one bottle of this and it has lasted me forever because I mean look at all these bottles that are filled um, I also have a couple more bottles stored away that do have this in them so whenever I um, get rid of a bottle or I don't use it anymore I just pour it back in here and most of these I also put a little bit of water in them because like I'm trying to find one I can use it as an example but when it's only fabric softener and no water, so then it just it doesn't quite look right. I'm trying to find one where I didn't put a lot of water in it. Um, sorry guys. This one, I don't think I put very much water in this one. And as you can see, it like kind of sticks to the sides a lot longer than it probably should if it was real formula. So I put a little bit of water in it and let me see, like... You can tell in the Born Free bottle, like, I put a lot more water in it. And you can tell, because it, it kind of moves differently, too. But anyway, so that is my bottle collection. And this is probably a pretty long video for just being a simple little bottle collection. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching, everyone.